Assalamu alaikum and welcome to your virtual library story time with me, teacher Andrea. And today I'm going to read you a story called Hamster Learns to Help. Do any of you have a pet hamster at home? Hamsters are small rodents. They're a little bit bigger than a mouse and they can be quite cute. What animal do you think that is? Maybe a bear. Let's see how hamster learns to help in this story. One day the animals were tidying up after playing. There was a lot to do, but hamster wasn't helping. Has that ever happened at home or in your class where you're busy cleaning up and somebody who helped to make the mess is not helping to clean up the mess? Puppy was carrying a big pile of bricks to the toy box. Hamster, please, can you help me? Asked Puppy. No, I want to do a jigsaw puzzle, said Hamster. That's frustrating. No one really wants to tidy up, but we have to, right? Squirrel was putting clothes back in the dressing up box. Hamster, please, can you help me? Asked Squirrel. No, I'm doing my jigsaw puzzle, said Hamster. Would you say that to your friend if they asked you for help? Bear was taking books back to the bookshelf. Hamster, please, can you help me? Asked Bear. No, I'm still doing my jigsaw puzzle, said Hamster. Soon, there was just one piece missing from the puzzle. Hamster looked in the box, but there was nothing there. She asked her friends if they could help her look. We're too busy, they said, and they carried on tidying. Mm, so now she wants their help. So Hamster tried to find the puzzle piece on her own. She looked around, but she couldn't see the piece anywhere. Bear told Hamster, if you help us tidy up, the jobs will be finished quickly. Then we can all look for the missing piece together. So Hamster started to help. When everyone works together, it's a lot faster, isn't it? Hamster worked very hard. She picked up bricks and put away dressing up clothes and tidied the toys. Well done, Hamster, said Squirrel. Hamster smiled. She felt good for helping out. With Hamster's help, the tidying was soon finished. So the friends searched for the missing piece together. Squirrel lifted up the rug and the missing piece was underneath. Thank you, Squirrel, said Hamster, and she rushed to complete her puzzle. Hamster was glad that she had such helpful friends. Let's do the next puzzle together, suggested Hamster. It was the perfect reward for their hard work. So, what do you think Hamster learned? That's right, she learned that it's nice to help out. You feel good and actually working together made tidying up so much easier and faster. And then she ended up having help from her friends and was able to find the puzzle piece that she needed. Do you help out at home? And when you're at school, do you help out too for tidying up and bringing books and, and even helping friends who need it? I hope so. I hope you enjoyed this story and maybe you can share with me one way that you help out. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you again in the library, hopefully soon. Until then, assalamu alaikum. Bye.